See how my goldfinch is? She's pulled all them feathers out of her breast uh, by herself. She was going to try and make a nest. She made a nest and then decided to destroy it once they're made. Typical of goldfinches. They're having a bit of a scrap. Let's see if we can calm them down. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the, but they've been feeding. The cock, the cock who's on the right there, he's actually been feeding. He's been feeding the hen. Uh, sometimes he likes her, sometimes he don't. And he, he'll chase her away. Then the next time they'll sit close together and and he'll feed her. Uh, I'm not expecting them to go down yet because it is a bit early for a goldfinch. Usually probably August time. See them having a bit of a scrap there. Usually around another month or more before hopefully they'll they'll nest. Uh, and we can get some nice young. The one on the left, the hen with the, the pool, she's actually uh, crossed Siberian and uh, British European goldfinch. Uh, and the actual cockbird is supposedly a what they call a pea throat. Is actually, if you could actually uh, get close enough to him and he'll stop for long enough, you can see he's got a in the white patch under his beak, he's got a, a white, um, sorry, in the red patch under his beak, he's got a white patch, uh, supposedly carrying the white gene and would produce lighter young birds. Whether this is true or not, it remains to be seen. There's all sorts of theories of why they have this white patch. Uh, I don't really think it means they've got the white gene, but I know you have to pay a lot more for them just because of the, the white spot in the, in the, on the throat. I mean, the tackle bird, this bird here was 150 quid, English, UK pounds, so it's uh, a very expensive bird. Whether we're gonna get anything more out of it remains to be seen, but you never know. I'll just uh, stop talking now and just let watch these two for, for a bit.